what's up guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i am ro thank you guys so much for subscribing if you are a new subscriber welcome aboard it's nice to have you it's nice to meet you was that thunder that's thunder since cutting my hair i really noticed that my old way of doing my makeup just wasn't gonna cut it um i feel like it was a little bit too dramatic the way i did my brows were a little bit much like less is best when it comes to this particular hairstyle in my opinion and considering that it's like a hundred degrees outside every day i don't want to have on all of that makeup so this is going to be my no makeup makeup look and my summertime friendly less is best makeup look this is not necessarily based on any type of products is more so technique based there are some like prerequisite to doing this type of makeup look and that's to take care of your skin i know so if you do have like acne troubles or hyperpigmentation you may have to do some extra steps if you're trying to cover that if you're not trying to you can do the exact same routine you can definitely tweak uh, your no makeup makeup routine to your liking. I just personally wanted to do something that was going to be quick, easy, and not have my face super duper cakey. And I think I'm going to be talking through this one. We got my handy dandy makeup slash travel bag because as you can see there's a toothbrush in there. All right, so there are a few things that I do beforehand. So I do my face routine, I do a good exfoliation on my nose and my lips. And then the next thing that I do is to arch my eyebrows with my eyebrow arch. When I arched them recently, maybe two to three days ago, I did arch this one a little bit too much. As you can see, this one is thicker than this one. That was a mistake, however, um, I am going to fix this with my little methods. Yeah, that's pretty much the before that's not going to be on camera. So definitely do your basic face routine. Just make sure your face is as textureless as possible. All right, the very first thing that I am going to be putting on my face is this Maybelline Master Prime by Face Studio Sunscreen SPF 30. It's a primer and base blur and defend and this is what it looks like and i'm going to be putting this on first everything that i'm using will be linked down in the description box this i use year round but i feel like it's even more important now since it's the summertime it gives like a blur effect like a smooth poreless type of look I'm gonna use about this much of it. Also, make sure that your hands are clean, of course, before doing your makeup. So I'm gonna rub it into my fingertips and put it all over my face and rub it in very generously. All right, that's all worked in there. And the rest, I'm just gonna let it set in on its own. So, moving on to the brows the brows for my brows i'm going to be using my mascara which is the maybelline falsies that i've had for a while that i actually need to replace so i'm going to be using the falsies i think it's to just make them darker not necessarily to fill them in so my technique is to just make really really light strokes i'm actually going to take majority of the product off of the bristle and then i'm just going to make really light strokes on my eyebrow i mainly do the strokes towards the end because you don't want it to be too dark in this area you want it to be like a faded effect And now I'm just going to kind of do a little bit of the front, but not much. Just really like strokes. I just want to make sure that my eyebrows are visible on my face because sometimes eyebrows, especially in pictures, they can like fade into the background. I just want them to stand out, but I don't want them to be like the focal points. And I'm gonna be taking my foundation 
not concealer i'm taking my foundation to do the outline in the maybelline fit me madame poreless and this is my summer shade this is in the color 340 and the name of this color is cappuccino so i'm a 340 cappuccino why use a matte foundation in the summertime i personally have oily skin so if i can have anything that kind of combats the oiliness for a little while I'm going to use it and I haven't had any problem with it unless I put too much. Putting too much of mattifying foundation in the summer is just a bad idea. So I'm really just using it very lightly and using it very lightly gives me like a dewy effect anyway. So I would just rather use, you know, mattifying. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that foundation on my brush and I'm going to trace my eyebrows it's maybe a little bit too much so let me take a little bit off of the brush another thing with my technique for this I don't try to go for like a super arched effect so yeah All right, so for for the top of my brows, I kind of just take what's left over. I'm not really going for like the highlighted look at this point. So I'm just gonna take what's ever left over on this brush and maybe dip a little bit. And like I said, I'm not going for an arch look. It's more of a rounded brow. And since this brow, is a little bit thinner than this one. I'm gonna kinda like outline a little bit wider and maybe make it a little bit darker so that it appears on my face. All right, now that that's done, I'm going to fill in this brow a little bit more. Like I said, I'm not really going for the square look, so I'm gonna kind of round out where I made that line. All right, so the brows are done. Now we're gonna move forward to the face portion of this this fluffy brush this is kind of like cross contamination if you feel weird about that then you can take take this out put it on your hand and dip but i'm just gonna dip into here and not have much on my brush this literally all on my brush this is all that's on my brush and i'm going to use like a very light fluffing motion I'm trying to basically move around move around the foundation as much as I can without having to dip back into my foundation too much the mission is not full coverage that's not what I'm going for I'm trying to have like really light really light layers so I just dipped again and this how much is on here and I'm gonna cover like my mouth area And I'm gonna dip one last time to get my forehead. So, that's the foundation portion of this look. So we're gonna close it up and we're gonna move on to the highlighting part and how I highlight. And we're gonna be using, I may not use this one, this one looks empty, but I have several, girl. I'm gonna be using my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Toffee, of course. I would say to get something that's a little bit closer to your skin complexion. So my technique is to do the typical contouring, but a little bit less. Just like a little bit. That's it. That's what we doing. Little bit on my forehead and my chin. 
I'm going to highlight under my brow as well, just right there at my brow bone, just a little bit. I wanted to zoom in for you guys so you can see exactly where I highlighted and how much. And once I actually blend this out, it will be barely noticeable that I've highlighted, but that's the point. No makeup makeup. And this is the brush I'm going to be using. I'm trying not to show y'all my brushes too much because baby, these brushes are old. And now I'm just gonna clear from under my eyes. So I'm gonna do like the little tapping motion for underneath my eye. This may, I probably have put a little bit too much under my eye, but that's okay. I'm gonna keep blending. And I'm not, as you can see, I'm not going directly under my eye just yet, just yet. And then I'm gonna look up and then blend out underneath my eye. Whatever is left over from under my eye, I just put that on my eyelid. Now we're going to do the eyes. For the eyes, again, all I'm gonna be using is my mascara. And I'm gonna do two coats of mascara. I'm not gonna layer them on too thick to where my eyebrows look clumpy, if that makes sense. I won't be applying lashes and I won't be applying eyeliner uh, or you just want to add like a little bit more zhuzh. I would say go for a really, really natural lash with a very, very invisible weft. If the weft is too thick on the lash, then you're going to want to start adding liner and it kind of takes away the point of the no makeup thing. So if you are going to add like natural lashes, make sure the weft is like a very thin weft or like an invisible clear with. After two coats of mascara and a little bit on my bottom lash, I try not to go too heavy on my bottom lash. I'm done with my eyes. This is all I'm gonna do with my eyes. So the next thing is going to be some light bronzing slash contouring. This cute puffy brush, and I'm gonna be taking my handy dandy black radiance medium to dark contour palette. And I'm gonna be taking, instead of the contour, I'm gonna take, <laughs> instead of the contour, I'm gonna be taking that middle one that says Sculpt. I'm gonna do some minor contouring, mainly on my cheekbone area, just to like give my skin some definition. So I'm gonna tap into that and I'm just gonna like swirl it around. Do a line and then swirl it around. That's all I'm gonna do, again, Swirling it around. I'm gonna do a little bit on my forehead because I feel like a little no depth up there. And now I'm gonna do the same thing on my nose, just like light contour. I'm not gonna like try to trail my whole nose, just kind of more so the bottom area. So coming like right here. That's done. Moving on to the lips. This is the second to the last step. So the lips. I'm going to be taking my NYX. This is actually an eye pencil. I'm gonna lightly line my lips. 
Now this part you do not have to do. I just like like the 90s lip liner soft look. So I'm gonna be doing that. I'm gonna kinda rub it in because I don't want it to be too harsh. And now I'm gonna take my lip oil. Now you can get these bad babies from your local beauty supply. These are the only lip glosses I ever use, so boom. And baby girl, we're on to the last step, which is like my favorite step is going to be, again, going back to this palette and we're going to highlight, honey. So I'm gonna be using this right here. This is the brush that I'm going to be using. Um, it's like a, a small fan type brush, but I'm going to like do a significant amount, pat off a little excess. I'm gonna get that highlight area. Whoa, whoa, look, look at that. Mm. Taking some more, putting it on the tip of my nose. Putting it right here in the center of my nose. And then I'm gonna take it down the bridge of my nose. Next, I'm going to put it right here in that brow bone area. Mm-hmm, girl, mm-hmm. Again brow bone area i'm probably gonna do a little bit on my cupid's bow i really i rarely put like a highlighter right there for some reason but since it's today let's just do it last but not least i'm gonna put some on my inner corner i'm gonna change my brush for that using a very small like angled brush and i'm going to wet this brush very lightly just so the highlight can kind of like stick and be more prevalent so now that the brush is wet i'm going to lightly dip it into the highlight and i'm going to work it into like my corner and like a little bit on to the lines of my eye I'm gonna dim my lighting down a little bit so you guys can kind of see the glow so with my cameras kind of dimmed it's kind of sort of showing you the glow but not really camera's not doing any justice maybe I'm probably gonna take a picture on my phone and insert it here so that is pretty much my no makeup makeup look slash summer friendly dewy look um I will say that with this routine I feel like I'm still like wearing my skin I actually forgot that I had on makeup yesterday when I was doing this and when I took it off I only use one makeup white usually I use two and they're both completely brown by the time I finish this is probably the look I'm gonna be doing for a long time probably gonna experiment with different types and shades just to like perfect it a little bit but for the most part I really love this and I feel like it really suit my haircut I'm just really really happy with it so let's do some little slow mos So let's zoom out and let's talk a little bit. All right, you guys, so that concludes this video. I hope it was helpful in some way. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think down below. Again, welcome aboard to all of my new subscribers and to my OGs. Thank you for returning. And be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, of course. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs>